everyone, this is Sue from Expecto Go, and I'm here to talk to you about Harry Potter Hogwarts Mystery. Uh, there was a soft release of Hogwarts Mystery uh, yesterday. Um, the app went up on Google Play and a lot of people got to download it and try it out for themselves. Um, I didn't download the app, but I did watch a walkthrough of the first 20 minutes of the game and here's what I saw. Among designing your character, buying books, uh, getting a wand and making friends, you can do a lot of other cool things. The time period of the game is after Lily and James Potter died, but before Harry Potter starts at Hogwarts. So you get to see a lot of really familiar faces. Dumbledore, I wanted to give him a hug, and you know, Snape is there, uh, McGonagall, everyone that you want to see that you will recognize from the books and the movies is going to is going to be on this game. It looks like house points are going to come into play if you do something that is wrong or if the or if you just annoy Snape you're going to lose house points. Um, there you earn money and XP when you do good things on the game um, and the XP helps you to level up to different levels which unlocks certain features of the game. Uh, there's also a stamina system which I thought was pretty cool so every interaction costs you energy um, and you need to do a certain amount of these interactions to pass each task that the game sets you to. From what I saw it looks like the mystery is that you're starting Hogwarts and your brother has gone missing and you don't know where he is so that looks like the mystery aspect of it and that is pretty compelling and kind of an interesting choice for them to make it so personal that your brother is missing which I, I really like that. Cool things that you get to do, you get to go to class and learn different spells and different potions. What I love about the spells is that it looks like there's going to be different gestures for each spell. So not only do you have to learn the spell and what it does, you have to learn the gesture that goes with it. You can go to your house's common room and interact with your fellow students in the common room and in the hallways. Um, in the short little bit that I saw, you got to kind of get into an argument with another student, which I love. On one of the more negative points, it looked like a pretty typical point and click game and there were load screens in between going into different rooms and in different interactions that kind of took a long time. So that would be probably a little bit annoying, but I think that Harry Potter fans are diehard enough to deal with the load screens even on a mobile game. I'm pretty excited about this. I'm excited about this news that dropped. So here's, this has been The Scoop with Sue from Expecto Go.